That's why I'm such a big fan of Jadam liquid fertilizer. You're taking what's around you and you're creating your own farming inputs without having to spend a mass amount of money. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Jadam liquid fertilizer. This is a great way for you to make your own fertilizer from what's around you and not have to spend a lot of money on expensive fertilizers. So let's break this down by the who, what, where, when, why, and how. So let's start with who. Who is this for? And this is for anybody who's growing plants, mainly outdoors. You can feed your indoor potted plants this, but you'll have to give them other things as well to create life in the soil in order for them to break down this fertilizer and feed your plants. But it can be done. This will fertilize everything. All right, let's go to the what. What is Jadam liquid fertilizer? What it is is taking a plant and harnessing it and turning it back into fertilizer for itself. Another great example is you are what you eat. So if you want to feed your, let's say, fig tree, and you want to give it the best possible food that it can, that you can give it, you're going to want to take what the tree has already produced, save that, and then feed it back to it because it's already harnessed all of the nutrients from the ground for what it needed in order to grow figs. What's the point of Jadam liquid fertilizer? It's to give the tree or plants back the nutrients that they need in order to grow and be healthy and produce food for you. The where is kind of open. Uh, it was originally started in Korea, but this is applied all over. Uh, Young Sung Cho, who is the, the author of Jadam and the creator of this idea and this practice, uh, he started this in Korea. His dad had actually started Korean natural farming, but he wanted to get away from some of his dad's ideas of using like lots of brown sugar. Um, because he wanted to use things that were of round and that were going to be able to keep the cost down so that way you could farm without having to spend a lot of money. All right, so let's get to one of the more important questions, the why. Why do you wanna make your own fertilizer? Because you wanna harness the life that a plant has already given and you wanna collect that and turn it back into fertilizer to give back to other plants to allow them to grow. So maybe you want to get away from using synthetic fertilizer, but you like the idea of liquid fertilizers where they're uh, more readily available to your plant and they're, they're faster acting than uh, granular fertilizers. So this is a great option because it is a liquid fertilizer and you don't have to uh, go the synthetic route. You All right, so let's get to the big one, the big question, the how. How do we do this? Well, it's pretty simple. All you wanna do is collect one type of plant. So whatever you're, you're collecting, you only want that one particular plant to make each of your fertilizer inputs. So let's say you wanna make a nitrogen rich fertilizer. You would wanna collect only grass clippings in order to create that. You don't wanna collect everything. You wanna collect only one specific type of thing. Now you can do this on a much larger scale. It's very easy to scale up. It really only depends on the size of your container and how much material you have. So just for this video, I did it with this mason jar, but I took all of those figs or the fig uh, shoots and I cut them up into small little pieces, probably no more than two inches. And I just cut them up really finely and I put them into here. I filled this up originally pretty close to the neck, so it was pretty full, and then I added water into here. I used dechlorinated water. Rainwater is the best, but dechlorinated water will work. You just wanna make sure that it's not chlorinated because you don't wanna kill any of the beneficial microbes that are gonna be in here that are going to break this down in order to extract out all of the liquids that are creating your liquid fertilizer. Now, once you've done this and you're to this point, all you need to do is add in either a small little handful of worm castings or leaf mold soil, which is just broken down leaves over a year or two. Now, if you don't have that, you can go out to the woods, go to somewhere near a creek, anywhere where you can find really broken down uh, soil where it's very fine. That's 
where you will find beneficial microbes that have broken down organic matter and you want those specific ones to come and be in here and get into the water column and break down the organic matter that's in here. They're going to reproduce and consume all of the uh, organic matter that's in here. They then are excreting that back into the water column and then that is what creates your liquid fertilizer because they have broken down the, the plant matter into the liquid that you then take and feed to your plants. Now there is a pretty big warning with this that this will smell horrible because it is rotting away. This is happy, happening anaerobically. So you typically get really funky smells from this. So this is something you don't wanna keep in your house. This is something you leave out in the garage or tucked away somewhere like in a shed and you wanna keep it out of the sunlight. Now, once you've done all of that, you've put in a little bit of leaf mold soil or worm castings or really high quality compost, you're gonna go ahead, cover this up. You wanna keep insects out so you can use a breathable cloth or you can put a lid on it, but very loosely keep it um, sealed. You don't want this having a very tight air seal because it is going to off gas. The anaerobic bacteria that's in here is going to create gases and it will either pop the lid or break your jar. So be aware of that, that whatever you use, you wanna keep it sealed, but you don't wanna keep it airtight sealed because it will off gas. It's important, I've had one of my bigger containers, it blew off the plastic lid and it smelled horrible. If you wanna know about Korean natural farming versus Jadam, be sure to subscribe because in the future, I'm gonna make a video where I talk about the differences of Korean natural farming, the fermented plant juice where I used fig tips to create this fertilizer right here versus my Jadam liquid fertilizer, which is also from fig tips and how the differences or what the differences are between the Jadam liquid fertilizer and the Korean natural farming's fermented plant juice. The goal is the same, but they do it in different ways. So be sure to subscribe so that way when that comes out, you can see that video and see which one is gonna be best for you. Now, the really nice thing with Jadam liquid fertilizer is that you can make very specific types of fertilizer. So another great thing about this is that you get to control your own fertilizer. You don't have to buy either a nitrogen rich fertilizer or a phosphorus rich fertilizer. You can control that. So right here, this would be more of a nitrogen rich, but I also have a phosphorus rich fertilizer. So this right here is my phosphorus fertilizer. This is for when my fruit trees are fruiting. And this is a fertilizer that is going to feed them. And as they start to use up the phosphorus and all the other minerals in the soil, this is perfect because this is fruit from fruit trees. This one right here from all my loquats that um, were harvested off of the tree that weren't edible, this is all going to be fertilizer for next year. There's two different ways to go about this with fertilizing your plants with this. One, I could feed this directly to my loquats next year when I see them flowering and when they're setting their fruit. Now, because this came from the loquat tree, the idea is it's providing everything that the loquat wants. So that way, it's taking just the right amount of nutrients and giving it right back into those loquats. And the idea is that that is allowing the loquats to get uh, sweeter and more ripe. But on the other hand, the other thing you can do is feed this to other trees or plants that are fruiting. And because this is a phosphorus rich fertilizer, that this will help the plant in general produce better fruits. So I could provide this as a fertilizer to my peach tree, to my apple trees, um, even to like my bell peppers. And it's going to have benefits for the fruits that are being grown. So if you're just starting out, take whatever fruit you do have and go ahead and put it together and make your fertilizer. Once you start growing a lot of specific things and you really want a specific type of fertilizer for whatever plant you're really growing, then you can start saving any of the 
wasted fruit and using that to create your fertilizer for next time. You can absolutely mix all of your fertilizers together. Now you'll do the same thing with making the fruit as you would with making a nitrogen type fertilizer. Now you can absolutely use this within a month, but the longer you wait, the better it gets. Like the fertilizer that I have that's two years old, it's so well broken down that I can dilute it at a 50-50 ratio and pour it right on my plants and I don't have to worry that I'm going to cause any burn to my plants. But you definitely wanna play it safe when it comes to using freshly made liquid fertilizer because it still is hot and it hasn't been broken down completely by the microorganisms. So it's always better to play it safe with fertilizer that was just recently made by diluting it down a lot and then working your way up to a stronger dilution. You're really making fertilizer for next year. Even though you're harnessing it now and you could use it and that's if you need to, absolutely use it. But if you really wanna have the best fertilizer you can, you're making this for next year. And then that will give your plants the best fertilizer that they can get from what's coming off of your own property and what's around you. To me, that's great. I love knowing that I can go and cut the weeds when they start popping up and turning them into a nitrogen fertilizer to feed to my trees or my seedlings when I start doing my row crops. And I love knowing that instead of my fruit going to waste or having to compost it and break that down over a long period of time, I know I can put it in here make some fertilizer for that tree specifically and give it back to that tree next year and produce an even sweeter, better product. That's why I'm such a big fan of Jadam liquid fertilizer. You're taking what's around you and you're creating your own farming inputs without having to spend a mass amount of money. So I hope you found this informative and I hope you try it. You don't have to believe me, that's okay, but I challenge you to go ahead and try this. All right, go out in the garden, go get dirty, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.